we be this too much, but that's okay. Your audience of one? Audience of one. Oh, no, I have more people Close online. We have, we're, not, we're an audience of 86. How's that? They, they probably have a, a number of the people watching. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see what you can actually know. Okay. Uh, my name is Jim Doherty. I'm the uh, president of the uh, Niagara Military Museum, and we're located in the armory, the old Niagara Falls Armory on Victoria Avenue in Niagara Falls, Ontario. The armory itself went up in 1911, okay? And it is um, a baronial Gothic style building, and it uh, was built to guard the frontier. Okay, it is a mini fortress, and um, all of the windows you can get at have heavy, heavy bars. And the basement, are, the windows are set up as a fire step, so you can actually put machine guns out the, out the window. Okay. And it was built when we were the empire, and the people across the frontier weren't. Okay. In fact, a lot of the uh, settlers in our area uh, consider the, um, those, that place across the frontier as the land of traitors and terrorists who rebelled against their king. Okay. So they wanted this armory built, and it was in that big armory construction phase, roughly 1890 through to about 1920, when they were building various sized armories. Um, our armory, as like I say, is like a mini fortress. So um, the open space is on the second floor. Okay, as opposed to most uh, armories, the oh, parade square is on the, the main, main ground floor. Well, our, that's not a very good defensive building. So ours is meant to be defended room by room, floor by floor. In fact, all of the walls are three bricks thick. And if you want to get in, you need a piece of artillery to blast your way in. So that's where we are, okay, in Niagara Falls. And you're certainly welcome to come and visit us. Now, here's a, uh, a project that... Came, came to us uh, in October 1919. And I'll, and I'll get into a little bit of the, um, the person who brought it to us. And it's the Black Military History of Niagara. And in Niagara, we, we know that there was, it was a hotbed of abolitionism, okay? And um, uh, people coming to seek freedom in our area and, and lived very successfully and very well in, in Niagara. But when it came to the military history, and I consider myself you know, a pretty knowledgeable person about military history, Canadian military history, and especially the uh, First World War, but um, every time we looked at something, it came to, gee, I never knew that. You know, we, we, I'd be discovering things as, as, a, you know, as, a, um, as a military historian that, wow, I thought I knew a lot of this, and guess what? I just don't. And I mean, much to say, I'm not, I, wasn't, I was quite disturbed that I didn't know this, but it was an excellent project, okay? So here's, here's one of my heroes, okay? This is uh, James Grant. And if you look, he's got M.M. after his name. His family came to um, Niagara as freedom seekers probably in about the 1830s, okay? As part of the Underground Railroad. Because once you can get across the river, you are free. Okay? And um, you are protected by the law. Everyone was equal as a subject of the, the king or the queen, and you were protected by, by law from um, not so much discrimination, but um, any kind of you know, servitude or being sent back or things like that. So anyways, the Grant family lived in St. Catharines, 